Good morning, class. I have here the result of your final examination. All of you passed the said examination except to Miss Mary Joyce I saw. Oh, I knew it. I wasn't able to review for the finals. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't understand everything on our lecture, especially about the normal distribution. In what particular part of a normal distribution you don't understand? Are you really listening every time I'm discussing? Um, honestly, sir, I'm not really attentive these past few days. There are lots of projects to submit and I'm really bothered about it. I'm so sorry, sir. Okay, I have already done my part and it's your fault. So, so much for this. Goodbye and have a good day. Oh, what is it, Joy? I really don't know what to do, sir. Okay, meet me after class tomorrow and I'll teach you all the difficulties that you have in my subject. Is it clear? Really, sir? Oh, thanks for the opportunity. See you. Mwah. Sir? Oh, Joy, you're here. Yes, sir. So, can you start? Okay. I'll feature everything from the beginning of our topic up to the end. There are two types of variables, the discrete variable and the continuous variable. Here is an example of box plot. I will give you an example. In a match box, the average stick contents is 50, so the mean is 50, and the standard deviation is 5. How did I get it? Mean is equal to the sum of all the values divided by the number of values. The variance is calculated as the square root of the summation times the sample minus the mean divided by the sample population minus 1. Sir? If I have a population of 50, the mean will be 50, and the standard deviation will be 5. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, let's go to the normal distribution of the theoretical probability. A normal distribution is a theoretical model of a whole population. It is perfectly symmetrical about a central value, the mean represented by 0. In this example, the x-axis is divided up into deviations from the mean. Below, the shaded area is one deviation from the mean, while this is an example of three standard deviations from the mean, while this is an example of three standard deviations from the mean. Here's the table on how to read the normal distribution. Okay, do you understand? Um, okay, sir. I understand now. Thank you very much, sir.